Procomsignathus is an extinct genus of coelophysid theropod dinosaurs that would have lived approximately 210 million years ago during the late Triassic period in what is now Germany. These were very small animals, ground-dwelling bipedal carnivores that probably hunted very small prey or scavenged otherwise. These are of course just theories, however, and while it's undoubtedly a small bipedal carnivore, the only known Procomsignathus fossil is actually in really poor condition, so it's hard to do exact research on this particular animal, and they're often confused for, and otherwise replaced in some cases, by Compsignathus, not Procomsignathus. Both these animals are two completely different kinds of dinosaurs, and each have a single species underneath them. Procomsignathus triassicus and Compsignathus longipes. Compsignathus is largely more famous than Procomsignathus is, and Compies, as they're sometimes nicknamed due to Jurassic Park, could grow to around the size of a chicken. And they would have lived millions of years after Procomsignathus, during the late Jurassic period, in the same general location as Procomsignathus, and the name Procomsignathus was actually derived from Compsignathus. Compies take their name from the Greek word Kompsos, which means elegant, refined, or dainty, as well as the Greek word Nathos, which means jaw. The prefix pro implies before, or ancestor of, Hence why Procomsignathus means before elegant jaw, basically. And the reason it was named as such is that it was believed, by rudimentary understanding, that Procomsignathus was a direct ancestor of Compsignathus. After all, cursory examination of the animals does suggest that they are remarkably similar. They are both theropods, but that's actually where the similarities end, however. They're in completely different families. Procomsignathus is believed to fall under the Coelophysidae, whereas Compsignathus falls under Compsignathidae. Their lineage likely is not nearly as direct as one would assume, despite the confusing names, with Compsignathus being a lot more closely related to other animals under Compsignathidae, like Cynosauroteryx, and Procomsignathus being a lot more closely related to Coelophysis. This does make things more confusing, and Jurassic Park has actually made this a lot more confusing due to interchangeably using the names on occasion. See, in Michael Crichton's original two novels, these small creatures were known as Procomsignathus, and he meant them to be. That was on purpose. He gave them a venomous bite, which has no basis in the fossil record as far as we know, but again, that was to add to the horror element of the animals, and to make it clear that there's a lot that we just don't know about them. One of the many surprises the clone animals showed was the venom, and the pack hunting behavior. But he always referred to them as Procomsignathus in the books. It wasn't until the movies that things got confusing. Now, these animals didn't appear in the first Jurassic Park movie, but they did appear in The Lost World, and there they are referred to consistently as Compsignathus, not Procomsignathus, meaning that they switched out the species, or just dropped the pro and figured whatever, it'll be fine. And it doesn't help that in The Lost World, Dr. Robert Burke, who was a paleontologist that was hired by the villain Peter Ludlow to be the extraction team's resident dinosaur expert, refers to a Compsignathus early in the film as Triassicus. Oh my god. Zogmathus Triassicus, found by Frost in Bavaria, 1913. Which, as we've already established, is the species name for Procomsignathus, not Compsignathus, whose species name would be Longipes. Do you see how confusing this kind of thing can get after a while? This, combined with just blatant misunderstandings of genus names, means that some people tend to use the terms Procomsignathus and Compsignathus interchangeably when they are referring to two completely different species of dinosaur that aren't even that closely related. But, hey, it happens. And if you're watching this video, now you know. Procomsignathus and Compsignathus, not the same thing. Not at all. Not really in any way. They're both theropods and dinosaurs. And they kind of look similar, sort of, but a little bit. But they are definitely not the same animal, nor are they even direct cousins, or even descended an ancestor. They're entirely separate, evolutionarily speaking. 
And with that, a special thank you to that's of my Apex Predators, Arthur Roy and Metal for Life Guy. Till next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fun farewell. <laughs>